Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. I am bio. Intimate to me and you. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. So you are crying. You can't see. You are ready for it. And for what? And you are for the man. And for what? You are not even crying. You are going to be. And what do you want to do? Where you are? Not fancy. Come on. I am not going to be. Not me. No. Come on. Oh my. Drew. She said. We need me. Yeah. Yeah. Every set. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Doctor Grace Bodu. No. 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 When you see me, I'm a one man baby. The herbal clinic, but why I'm from what that jet? No, no more boys should be called. And say one more man will go. They are able to say ulcer, malaria, typhoid, BP, diabetes, stroke, hypertension. They are going to come on Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. I am in fact the cura. We will come as you assume school junction. I am from friend now on Kohwe. Zero two four six five one eight zero zero three. And now zero two zero six eight three zero seven five five eight. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Be any how be you. In the year 2020, even when coronavirus was disturbing the world, Miss Universe Ghana happened. A lady was. A judged winner for the 2020 edition of the beauty pageant and she happens to be chelsea tyree days back i talked to her mom very interesting conversation that a lot of people love in you know, bbc i talk to people like her i mean every day you can be like her once in a while i talk to people like her yes the mom is an oil and guy star kun she told us a lot of things she educated us on a lot of things and then today her daughter is here for us to have a conversation she's also one deep lady that i'm sure tonight or today you're, you're going to learn a whole lot of things from her my name is i felix she won 2020 edition of miss universe ghana as i've mentioned in no time she's going to represent ghana at the world stage and we hope she brings the crown home which is, which is going to be the very first time a Ghanaian is bringing that particular crown into this country. I'll be back when I come. I'll talk to Chelsea Tyree for us to talk about a lot of things. She's deep. Aside that, we get into a lot of things and then I mean, she's having a project that is very, very important and dear to my heart. You've done the hard work, the analysis, the selection. It's all going according to plan. Until City miss a sitter and you miss your multi bet by one. Miss your multi bet by one and we will return up to 20 times your stake. We've got your back even when City don't. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly, not for persons below 18 years. Yeah, so she's ready. I am ready. My name is Zion Phillips on Instagram. You can follow me, ZionPhillips.com on Twitter. Onya underscores are in Felix on Facebook and Design Felix Entertainment News. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. The beautiful Chelsea Tyree. Good evening. Good evening, Zion. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. You? It's the saying. Oh, Patrick Boko, no one swing. Miss Omi Huya Pa. Oh, and you may Didi Ade. Yeah, you may Didi. Didi Ade. My tree is finished. Your tree is finished? Yes. Speak the Eve. Uh, I've, uh, Akwena Mao. Mm, ah, what, what is Akwena Mao? I'll tell you, Miawezo, you're welcome. But I, mean, I told you Akwena Mao. Uh. But you said, you asked me to speak ever, I'm speaking what I know. Oh, that's all you know. Yeah, I, it, it is in a song, um, Celeste Ndonko. Akwena Mao. Am I even correct? Ah, uh, maybe you're know. mispronouncing it. Small. Okay. But what do you know in Ebe? Miawezo. That's the only thing I know. Efwa. Efwa, and you? Yo. Mm. Yo, de Mede de kuku. Mede kuku. Thank you, right? Yeah, I, I understand it a lot more than I speak it. So, okay. yeah, I'm giving, giving away my <laughs> secret. <laughs> I got you. So, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Miss Universe Ghana 2020. Yeah. How was the feeling when you were named winner for the pageant 2020 on that very night? I was so ecstatic, but all the more, I was just ultimately grateful because, you know, it's something when it when you dream about something but it's another thing when it actually comes true and it's now your new reality so above all i give god all the glory as i always say and i just really look forward to hitting that stage may 16th oh you guys you're not ready so what yeah. pushed you for you to pick the forms and then apply or contest for miss universe ghana 2020 
Yeah, so this is not my first time in pageantry. I have done a lot of pageants before this one. And I was like, you know what, let me just give it a shot because it's Miss Universe, you know, the universe of all universes uh, for pageantry. So um, it's, it's filmed, it's shown in 98 different countries or even more. So I just wanted to really just give it my all, give it my best shot. And I, know I, I knew I gave it my best. Um, ultimately, you know, when I was appointed after the fact, I was like, wow, like I'm really looking forward to making Ghana. There are so many pageants here in Ghana. <clears throat> yes. Why Miss Universe? Because Miss Universe is the most prominent pageant in the world. Like in Miss Universe, it has the most views, it's the most attractive, and ultimately, for me, it has the most compelling part of the charity aspect. Um, I can really buckle down and focus on what I want to achieve with Miss Universe. Whereas the other pageants weren't really my style. Miss Universe had like the whole, it has the whole package and the, the whole energy behind it. So that's why. As you, you said <coughs> in your earlier conversation, I mean, you've been to other beauty pageants. Yes. Um, in the States, right? Yes. That's where States. you live. So yeah. um, how different is the Miss Universe Ghana, for example? Um, dif how different is it from the ones that you've, 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 you've competed in in the States? Yeah, so the thing about Ghana is that you need a lot of support, especially from your own people, the Ghanaians. I, I, a lot of the times I see us kind of take a back seat when it comes to pageantry. You know, right now we're actually p planning my, uh, my costume, my international costume for when we hit the stage, because there's a portion of that. And there's just so many restrictions when it comes to what I can travel with, what I cannot travel with due to the government. And I'm like, you know what? Other countries take this so seriously. They have schools for this from when the girls are young, from when they start walking. Whoa. It's a sport, Zion, it really is. I think it's a world that's foreign to a lot of different people, but when you know it, when you break it down to what it really is, it's, you know, you never want to stop watching it. Let's hold on with Miss Universe, pageantry, and then mm. go back a little bit, talk about Chelsea, Miss Chelsea, Tyree, yes. T-A-Y-U-I, uh, right. Yeah. Miss Tyree, I mean, tell us a little bit about yourself. I sure. know that you grew up in the States. I know that. Yeah, so, you know, my mom is Ghanaian, my yeah. dad is Cameroonian. Yeah. Um, I'm 25 years old, and I am a communications executive, officially for the KGM Foundation and a lot of other different organizations as well. But pageantry ultimately has my whole heart. I um, look forward to just being that voice for the voiceless and just taking my legacy to the next level and my mom's legacy to the next level because she's backing me, supporting me, pushing me all the way. And you know, um, March is International Women's History Month or Women's History Month, whichever one it is. And every single day I just wake up and I'm like, wow, like this is really here. It's really happening. It's almost here. And I just thank God for my mom, for being so supportive, for everyone else who's just really been hands on. It takes a village, you know, it's not really what you see on screen. It's really what you see behind the scenes that you don't see. So yes, my hobbies are reading, exercising, cooking, and spending quality time with my family and close friends. Nothing beats family, like they are my pillars to lean on and they'll always be there for you. So. Let's look at the education. Yes, so I got my BA in communications and media from DePaul University in Chicago. And when I was done with uni, I came here to see if I could try and help my mom with her oil company business. and. I was like, you know, let me try something else, try something different. I stumbled upon Miss Universe Ghana, and then here mm -hmm. we are. Talking to your mom, I mean, she was making some interesting um, revelations that, um, okay, first of all, she said you attended school with Obama's kid. Yes, so University of Chicago Lab School, my sister and I, we went, th I didn't go there for as long as she did. She went there for a while and they are not only the sweetest girls ever, but they are so, humble and down to earth and even now that they're not in the white house anymore you still feel like they are even though they're Which of not. them oh all of them oh okay. yeah all of them you know barack has a way of just making you feel like you've been friends for the longest time and you know with the fist bump to the yes we can it's just so empowering and it's 
really compelling and it inspires you to do more for yourself and for your future generations. And how did they make good impact in your life? They always showed us the importance of perseverance. You know, a lot of people I've realized, especially in our generation, they would, you know, complain when it gets too stressful or when things hit the fan. And what most people should really recognize is that God gives the toughest battles to his strongest shoulders. Whenever I hear some of my friends saying, oh, why me? It's too hard. It's too stressful. Okay, but why not you? If not you, then who? You know, I mean, to whom much is given, way more is expected. And, you know, just being in that family unit with them, they're always so supportive and helpful, even right now, to me, for, with, with my pageant. They're going to be so excited that, you know, we're bringing them up in the topic. Wow. Yeah. So, um, mom also said that she initially didn't agree to you going for these pageantry. I mean, she didn't. Um, she, she's no. into all your daddy's um, medical doctor. Her sister is also doing yeah. something else, and then you wanted to go into um, pageantry. pageantry. Yeah. Yes. Um. You know, if you are an African parent and you are watching this, I respectfully want to say to you that there's a lot more than just being a lawyer, a doctor or an engineer, because I come from a nuts and bolts family. My father, anesthesiologist, my mom, oil guru, and then there's me, who doesn't fall into either category. I was a pre-med major in uh, uni for the first half. What most people don't know about me is that I've changed my major anywhere from five to six times. I was so Ooh. unhappy, and pageantry was kind of my way to just distract myself from school. Don't get me wrong, school is great. It's the best thing education you really can't beat that but when it comes to the creative side and the creatives who don't really have a place when it comes to the nuts and bolts family like where do we fit so um eventually you know i remember one day she said to me you know why do you want to do this don't you know that all the girls who do this they're not smart in school and i'm like well i'm smart in school i've made the dean's list i have a 3.8 gpa whoa so if I do this, ultimately, aren't I changing the narrative that you think that all the girls who do this aren't smart? And she said, yes, yeah, you have a point. So then from then on, she took a back seat, let me, did, let me do what I wanted to do. And yeah, she's been so supportive ever since. But if I hadn't begged her, pushed her, literally dragged her to let me do it, I don't I wouldn't be sitting here right now. So it's so important to just let your kids explore themselves, be themselves, and then just figure out what they want their legacy to be. And in your legacy lies your purpose. So she's yeah. Chelsea Tyree, yeah. Miss Universe Ghana 2020, um, May 16, 2021. She's representing Ghana on the world stage. And we hope that she brings um, the yeah. crown. We will talk about that. But before then, just days ago, you launched um, your awareness campaign, Autism. Yes, autism, yes. Wh why that project? Because there are so many things. People do sanitation, a whole lot of projects that people touch on. Mm. But I decided to work on autism campaign yes. for that. And that is exactly why, Zion, that I chose autism. Because it's something that's so overlooked and so underplayed. And it's such a serious topic that I wish a lot more people would recognize. You know, it's a spectrum and you can fall anywhere on that spectrum from mild to moderate to severe, you name it. And it's, it's a communications disorder where it impairs your ability to communicate. And then you have a lot of sensory issues from textures, smells, um, you know, anything whatever it could be like you just need to be more supportive of the kids who are facing the stigma that's really why i chose it um my younger brother was born 24 weeks premature so he had some autism symptoms and if not for the early intervention that my parents did for him when he was two three four and five the story would have been a lot different because those are those critical years that can really change the future of someone with autism and luckily today he's 18 he's about to go to university so yeah i want to encourage all the parents to just really focus in on early intervention so is he still suffering or is he okay 
No, he's like an ordinary 18 year old. He he's he's mild, right? Okay. Very mild. So you wouldn't even know that he has it. He's super friendly and we're blessed because he's not someone who throws tantrums. A lot of the kids on the spectrum throw tantrums because they're frustrated internally due to people not understanding them and vice versa. So yeah, he's a happy kid. Yeah. During the, during the launch of the event, you, you not that you nearly dropped. I mean, you dropped some, some waters from your eyes. I did. I did. That was not expected of me even. But you heard what I said. I said, I want to thank God for blessing me with my baby brother because if he didn't, I wouldn't be standing up here talking about this. I wouldn't be wanting to be a voice for the voiceless. And when you choose a platform that's so engraved in your heart, that's when you see the tears, you see the birth of it, you see the genesis of it. And now to see it all unfold, it's, it's blessed, it's miraculous, honestly. Educate us more on the autism because most people don't know much about it. Yes. So, you know, it differs from a lot of other disabilities like cerebral palsy and, you know, Rett syndrome, Down syndrome. Those syndromes are all different and autism mainly is different due to the spectrum that it comes with. You know, somebody like Albert Einstein, he was a genius. He was very high functioning. Also, when you see people like Albert Einstein, know that they're also on the spectrum, figuring out the intricacies of the world and how to solve this problem or that problem in such a distinct manner. Or you see like a three-year-old who can name all of the cities of the world and all the states and all the countries, you name it. So for me, I just want people to know that when you research more on the spectrum, you'll get a lot more out of what you're researching. What's next after the launch? Because some people do launch something and then as soon as they're done, we don't hear anything exactly. from them again. So Especially the, the, the beauty queens. Most of them, we don't hear anything mm. again. Yeah, and a lot of them, I, I was told that they do it just during their reign. But for me, I want this to extend beyond my reign. I want this, eventually I want to have an autism center in Ghana, in Accra. Yeah. It'll take a lot of heavy lifting, but it, nothing is impossible. So next steps, we're fixing the link. There was a bit of some glitches going on, but um, yeah, now we're full throttle you know the link should be up by tomorrow and i'll send you all that information mm, okay so yes. what are some of the activities that you'll be embarking on just to mm. make sure that i mean people suffering from that particular issue yeah. get help yeah so april 2nd is world autism day so i'm working diligently on bringing speech pathologists and um, occupational therapists and everything that someone with autism would really need in order to thrive and excel at the best of their ability. I'm planning on doing a lot of different activities. Like yesterday, I made a sensory jar. It was really cool. It's like an arts and crafts thing where you put water at the base, oil at the top, food coloring and glitter. It's like a coping mechanism to help calm a child with autism who's maybe throwing a tantrum or having a difficult time processing something. So there's nothing that beats just putting action behind your words. Yeah. What will you tell a parent whose kid is suffering from autism? Mm. If they don't know that the kid is suffering with autism and if they just think that it's something else, whether or not, like, I just think that they should really open up their hearts, but more importantly, you heard me say, open up their souls because it takes a lot for a parent to be going through that. Um, it's gonna take a lot of extra care. It's gonna take an extra dose of patience. But ultimately, what I really want to stress so much is the early intervention. That, to me, is like the holy grail for autism. When you do that, then the kid will be a lot better off. Miss Universe, yes. after winning, I mean, mm. What are some of the challenges that you faced? I mean, fighting all these issues. I mean, autism is not a joke. No, it's not. And you see, there's so many stereotypes when it comes to pageantry. I won't lie to you. I've experienced it. And the thing about me is 
I whatever I do, whatever action I take, I'm not doing it for anyone yeah. else. I'm doing it for my God so he can be proud of me and bless me and whoever I'm blessing all the more. Um, I have, you know, some of the times when I was just running from interview to interview, back to back to back to back, like I wouldn't even get time to like eat or like properly take care of my mind. And I would just be sitting there like giving them the answers. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, I hope that was okay because I'm really lightheaded right now. But um, yeah, there's that difficulty. And then there's the other difficulty of just trying to get people to realize what they should have realized a long time ago because Zion, the world is changing more than it's staying the same. And if you are one of those people who maybe has a stereotype or a fixed idea of what pageantry is, maybe you think pageant girls are bobble-headed airheads, but we're not. You know, we have platforms, we have voices, we have actions that back our beauty up. So it's beauty and brains all the more. And that's what I want people to know about pageantry. She's Chelsea Tyree. My name is Ian Phillips. I'll be back. Then we continue the conversation that we are doing right now. I go out of four, make sure more. It's the same. We did the mommy say one. I mean, what's the day they be catch you? What's the top top sending car? Debbie. What's it say? Nana was a hey, my main can't share away. Tap tap send, eh, hey, up, I'll be to me out to your good phone or so. Now, oh, baby, I will Europe, I will to me send this to Kako Ghana, a comma, a dog for a tent a mona. Now, so more Mujisica, no, so more empty and so Vodafone, Tigo, and now say it elsewhere, or more Benya Sica and tent a mona. Now, dear, they will Mukran, I say, fees be unkahu. Won't you have fees be a and exchange rates and also was so come a come a or iPhone and answer what Android that you'll be honest, sir. Over call app store no, no, I should say tap tap send. Charlie, may say many age at home, may say tap or tap on a send Welcome back. Now we are going to the states, May 16. We need your support for her to bring the crown home, for her to be the first Ghanaian bringing Miss Universe to Ghana. Yeah. How is preparation going? Yeah, it is, it's going. It's, it's, I won't say that like it's completely perfect, but it's going in the right direction. It takes everything and everyone, my national costume, my gown, my weight, my swimsuit, my mind, body, and soul. That's really what pageantry is all about. So I got those down packed. We just have to fine tune a couple different things, but after that, we'll be good to go. I mean, speeches, competition, representing Ghana, I mean, coach, culture, everything, how, yeah. is, how are things going? You certainly have to be very well informed about your culture and tradition such that when you showcase to the showcase it to the world, you're showing that, okay, this is what we have in Ghana. I'm selling Ghana to you so that you can come to Ghana and experience it for the wonderful country that it is. Um, I would say the more difficult part for me would be let me say the diet, because, you know, pageant girls can't just eat anything, especially weeks up into the pageant. So <laughs> I'm having fun with my salads and more salads and my vegetables. Um, <laughs> other than that, no, it's been great. It's been so, so like amazing. I can't even describe to you like how amazing it's been. It's been wonderful. There's so many ladies coming from all over the world. I mean, do you have like five ladies that you see as competitors i mean from other countries yeah and we have a really phenomenal group of girls this year i think this is the year where we have the most black girls and that's mm -hmm. never happened before at miss universe um a lot of these ladies have been doing it since they were children literally so they have the walk down pack they have the speaking down pack they're basically almost like doing this in their sleep so yeah, I love Miss India, Miss um, Indonesia. We're all like in a WhatsApp group chat, mm -hmm. so we talk every now and then. Miss Australia, Miss USA. I admire the fact that she's so young and she's already years ahead of herself. 
and yeah it's just amazing really 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 amazing what do you think is that one thing that you have over all these ladies coming i believe it is my dictum my belief in who chelsea is as a person as a daughter of the universe and i really just want everyone to know that if i were to win that the crown would be safe in my hands or on my head knowing that i would carry it out with dignity class and honor mm. yes what is that strategy that's that strategy that we are going to use to win we are going to use everything we have all the energy all the practicing all the walking and the twirling all the crunches that i'm doing to get my abs back everything so everything. on the night if you're asked how are you going to prove to people that pageantry is beyond beauty of ladies how are you going to answer it well we are all winners in our own way we've all won in all of our different countries and Ultimately, it boils down to how compassionate you are, how well informed you are about the universe and what goes on, and what you can do to make a difference and add such that you can be a valuable asset to the universe and be an impact, be the change you want to see in life, and then that's how it's going to start changing for the better. Mm, yeah. that's, that's deep. Thank you. That's deep. 16th May. 2021 yes. in the states which which, which states florida hollywood florida, florida. Oh, okay yes um what will you do next if ghana is announced winner for 2021 miss universe if i'm announced the winner yeah well ultimately the next day i have to come back to ghana and just like <laughs> take it all in um that's when the real work starts, honestly, like the autism and everything. Of course, you know, um, pageantry is ultimately seen as all glitz and glamour, but it's more than that. Like pageantry is about servitude, not self as much. So I just want everyone to see and know that I'm putting everything I have within my whole being behind this. And I would appreciate it if you guys did the same. Mm, okay. Yeah. Before you, there have been other winners of Miss Universe Ghana yes. who actually inspired you for you to also come into this um, Miss Universe Ghana, but not any other pageantry. Yeah, um, I would say probably Miss Minet has inspired me in a way because she not only was Miss Universe Ghana in 2004, but you Minai know, Donko. yes, okay. please. So when you already experience something you kind of know how it's going to go even though my experience will be different from hers she will tell me okay chelsea get your weight down clear your skin do this turn like this don't wear this color tuck this in and at the, at the, in the beginning i was like but why why do i have to do all of that like this is me and i'm like oh okay it's just the fine tuning when you do that it's like a light bulb moment. Okay. So, yeah. So, beauty pageant don't do regular things as a normal person does? No, we really don't. I like to think of us as super women, mm -hmm. superheroes, because we are. We are, you have to be super disciplined. There is no winner without discipline in any area or in any field that you go into. Um, the thing that I struggle with the most right now is getting enough amount of rest because naturally i'm very energetic and i just want to do the next thing consecutively consistently but i have to remember that sometimes it's okay to sit back rest for a moment and then continue i'd rather just get everything out of the way but that's not exactly healthy for the physical I guess body the support that you need sorry i get in the support that you need i am there's never there's never too much support i can always get more yes so you guys can follow me on instagram at I am Chelsea Taiwi and follow the Miss Universe Ghana page on Instagram as well. And you're going to see a lot of great updates, a lot of transparency. And I just look forward to you guys supporting me on this journey. This is our journey. This is our crown. And you don't want to miss any of it. When are you leaving Ghana? April 23rd. Okay. Yes. Okay. All the best when you go. Thank you, Zan. We are here supporting you spiritually, emotionally, physically. Amen. We pray Thank that I mean you. you bring us good news on I the, will. Uh, after the night. Yes. Your final words. My final words. Thank you to you, Zion. Thank you to you, whoever is watching. And 
Let's do this. Chelsea, Tawi, Miss Ghana, Miss Universe Ghana 2020 is the one that I had with me. My name is Ian Felix. Let's support her. Proud to the main event on May 16 in Florida, United States of America, so that at the end of the beauty pageant, somewhere 17th May, she will be named winner for this year's edition. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Download Ladder Driver now. Ladder, your safest ride to your destination. Improve your life with Ladder Driver. Drive Ladder, live better. Download Ladder Driver now. Ladder, we drive you safely.